today on Divorce Court. The thing that bugs me the most about Yakub is he loves to argue. He will not give in. I want Sheree to stop letting people interfere with our relationship and let me do my thing. He's right, I'm wrong, and there is no common ground. It's always turned into an argument or a fight. When my family asks me about babies, I feel uncomfortable in front of her. If he wants to have children, then that is a deal breaker for our relationship. I thought about proposing to Sheree, but the situation started getting rocky. Really, really rocky. Divorce court is now in session. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Sheree Chambers and Yaku Little. The two of you have been together for seven years. You don't have any children together. You two have substantial issues about what you want out of a relationship and whether or not you can stay together. So, Ms. Chambers, I'm going to start with you. Why don't you tell me about your relationship and why you're here to see me today? In the early 2000s is when I met Mr. Little. We were co-workers. Mm -hmm. We worked at the same company for about five and a half years. And um, then the company had ended, and we ended up going our separate ways. My understanding is that Mr. Little came in and, and, and rescued you a bit when your situation was, was not good. Tell me what he did. Yes, he did. Um, when I met, we talked um, for a while, mm -hmm. and I was just letting him know that the women's shelter that I was staying in wasn't a place that I can concentrate mm -hmm. and really focus on doing what I need to do to get back on my feet. So he offered his place to me. Mm. And um, by us being good friends, he knows that I'm a good person. And he really wanted me to get on track. Mm -hmm. So um, we didn't work at the same, we, we both were working at mm -hmm. that time, but we didn't have the same hours. He worked mm -hmm. different hours than mm -hmm. I did. So he said, well, you know, you come in and stay at my place. I'm not there because right. I work from such and such. So you'll have plenty of quiet time and relax and get yourself together and get back on your feet. Okay. Uh, thank you, Mr. Little, on her behalf. I mean, you know, what a good dude. What a good guy. That's a wonderful thing to do. Somebody's struggling, you know, you, 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 you held your hand out and, and helped her. When did it become a romantic relationship? It became romantic, I'd say about maybe two months after staying with mm -hmm. each other. Um, we came to realize that we have a lot in common. The most thing that we have in common is our birthdays on the same day. Mm -hmm. And we never even knew that. Never knew that our birthday was on the same day. But we love, love doing the same things. We like to go out and have a good time. And uh, we love life. So we both have that positive energy mm -hmm. between each other. Mr. Little, is there anything you'd like to add about what's going on so far? Basically, yes. Everything she said was basically correct. Right. And everything. I mean, I see she was a good person. Mm -hmm. And we had, like she said, we have a lot in common. So, right. therefore, I, I figured that, you know, since she's let's down. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. Yeah. You know, that's, uh, let me help her right. pick up. Right. You know. You say his family cannot stand you. <laughs> Why is that? Well, in the beginning, they, do li they did like me. But there was an issue that happened between us. Um, it, it happened with the children, and certain family members ended up blaming me for what the children did. And so there was nothing that I could do about that. But it, since that incident has happened, that has put a riff was in our it relationship. So, you don't have to be specific about what it was, but it, did it some, cause somebody physical harm? Was it economic harm, or somebody lied? What, what uh, type of infraction are, it was are we talking about? It was a lie, and then it hurt everybody's feelings. Gotcha. Gotcha. Mr. Little, do you know what we're talking about? Yes. How does your family feel about her? Well, I ain't gonna say everybody, and I ain't gonna say family. It's just certain family members. Right. You know, in the situation that went on, you know, I tried to, you know, better the both of us by, you know, try to come together and try to iron out the situation because basically it was a big misunderstanding. Right. You know, and we got to have a big, bigger and better understanding on what's going on. Mm -hmm. So what I tried to do is basically just try to iron out the situation so to be, so we could be as grown people. Did you, mm. were you able to iron it out? Did no. everybody kind of get over no. it? Or? No. No. no, he didn't iron it out. His no. thing was iron it out is just don't talk about it. Let's forget it. Just you forget it, you forget it. Let's not talk about it. 
over time, mm -hmm. it will just It'll be forgotten. Away. But let me ask you this. My, my understanding is they won't let you come to any family events. Is that true? That's true. <laughs> Mr. Little, is that accurate? No. What is the current familial stance on Ms. Chambers? Well, can she, Like, if y'all throw a barbecue, can she show? I mean, yeah, most likely in, in most occasions, she can. Mm -hmm. It's just that... Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> See? There you go. She can. Most, most of my family or whatever, she can attend to most of them. It's just that... There are a few. It's just a few. I try to, like, you know, talk to them. I try to talk to them, basically, because I don't want to deal with them the most. Right. And I, I have to make them and talk to them to make them understand. If she's with me, she's with, with me. You. Right. you know That's what I'm saying? Y'all got to respect no, that. No, but he still goes by himself. You understand? <laughs> if she with me, if she with me, she's with me. But he now, still I don't, goes by I don't himself. Go, I don't go and jeopardize their relationship <laughs> right. if they got a problem with their man or female. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? I don't go there and be like, oh, what is she doing here? What is he doing here? I don't like him. Or but, I don't but like her. But she seems to think that she can't go to any family events. Why well, does she feel that way? Because, because I was she don't told feel so. she's not. She don't feel comfortable of going off of what's been told to her. Uh -huh. But me, me personally, I go to them people who have a problem with her. I don't have to do it in front of her. But I do go to them and confront them. Like, look, y'all got to understand, this is my woman, and wherever she goes, I goes. So you know. <laughs> And you gotta, and, I love that. And, and you gotta, you gotta, you gotta most likely understand that I don't need you to be talking about her in front of me and her that make her feel uncomfortable and not coming to any more of my family functions. Given what Mr. Little said, and I believe him, given what he said, maybe you're stuck on the idea that they once were mad and haven't just broached the possibility that you can go now. Might be a little uncomfortable in the beginning, but you can go. Is that possible? I mean, I can go. I, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure that I can go, but I don't want to go if there's going to be a fight, a rift, mm -hmm. a problem. But you don't know that, right? Right. You don't, you, you don't know that. I don't know that. It's got to be more than that one incident. I understand that there are religious differences as well with the family, so I'm going to get off this topic and move on to the religious difference so we can see what's really going on here. When we go around his family, they're like, Yaku, when you gonna have children? That's not a possibility for me. And they mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. I just want the family to respect our relationship and understand that we're together. There will be no babies. Mm -hmm. Mr. Little, I'm going to start with you. Do, does your family have religious differences with her that also impede their relationship? No, not really, because we come from two different backgrounds. You know, I was, I was raised as a, you know, an Israelite, a.k.a. Rasta, you mm -hmm, know? Right. She was raised I mean, in a different thing. So it's like, you know, they, they ain't going to look at our differences or nothing like that because we do love each other. Right. You know? We ain't gonna let our religions and our beliefs come in between our, our love. Right. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. Ms. Chambers, do you believe that your religious differences uh, causes a rift between you and his family? I do, because, because he's a Rasta, and they, whenever we do go to like their family friendship, it's small kids, small kids, you know, kids all around, family all around. And so when we go around his family, they're like, Yaku, when are you gonna have children? That's not a possibility for me. I got my tubes tied, and just last month I had a full hysterectomy. And they mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. Mr. Little, how do you feel about the kid issue? Would you like kids? Are you, are you comfortable with the fact that she can't have any, or is that an issue for you? I mean, I do kind of have mixed emotions about it, because as far as my family, our family sees us as a kingdom. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? If I have, if I have a child, they're going to praise that child. Right. as like a prince, right? you know? And that's what they want to see out of me. But by me dealing with this woman, it ain't gonna happen. Right. So they gotta understand that. Mm -hmm. you but understand? you're okay with not having children. You, mm -hmm. have, you have come to terms with it and accepted it? I mean, I, I, I mean, in a way, I feel comfortable because what if I can't have kids? You know what I'm saying? You, if you I, lost if, me. Basically what I'm saying is if if I can't have kids, they got to accept that I can't have kids, but I have a woman who has kids. Right. 
you know? So therefore, I'm gonna take them kids like they mine. Right. I just want the family to respect our relationship and understand that we're together. There will be no babies. Mm -hmm. He seems pretty solid, though. He seems, I, 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 very few people have come in here and spoken in a, such a definitive, firm, and, and, and vociferous manner, like, this is my woman. Love her like she is. I accept her for what she can give me, and I'm done with it. And if you're not cool with her, you're not cool with me. That's that's what that's the vibe he's giving me. Yeah, but that ain't the vibe that he gives his family back at home. The vibe that he gives his family back at home is he's gonna have a child one day. So when they come and talk to me, my thing is, where's this mystery child coming, coming from? Coming from? I got you. I got you. I got you. I want to uh, I want to change uh, topics right now and talk a little bit about sex and why you may not ha be having as much as you would like. You'll go to work, come home from work, sit on the couch, and go to bed. Won't get in the shower. Well, he's a contractor. You can't, you can't bring all that from the outside in into the inside. That becomes a problem because I have to force him to do it. Would you attend family functions if your partner was not welcome? Tell us what you think at facebook.com slash divorce court. Divorce court will be right back. You say that there is an issue with the frequency of sex and there's a reason for it, Ms. Chambers. Why don't you explain to me what that reason is? Well, the reason is because he, in their religion, they. They're not really too keen on hygiene, like deodorant, soap, stuff like that. And so... Apparently, this when, is news to Mr. Little. When, <laughs> when you don't do... Okay, for instance, he'll go to work, come home from work, sit on the couch, and go to bed. Won't get in the shower. Well, he's a contractor. You can't, you can't bring all it. that from the outside in, into the inside. You get in the shower first before you get in the bed. My mama always taught me, don't you lay in my bed dirty. So I don't want him to lay in my bed dirty. So yeah, that becomes a problem because I have to force him to do it. Mm -hmm. I gotta force him, I gotta tell him, hey. Does he go? He goes once I tell him, but yeah. I shouldn't have to tell you. You should do it anyway. Mr. Because you know you stink. I'm gonna respond to that. Okay, go right in. So. <laughs> now, for us, to for, us, for us the sexual thing about it, I don't think we have any problems. The only problems that we only have when we, I mean, on the sexual side is her condition. She just got out of surgery, so I can't do too much. Right. You know, she just had a hysterectomy down there. You right, know? I got you. I can't I do you. too much. Right. So I gotta be careful what I do, right. or it's gonna hurt her. Basically, is and as far as the, the hygiene thing goes, I don't even know what she's talking about on that. Right. Because, the hair. I mean, I the do. The hair. I do. I mean, what they got to do with my hygiene and stuff? I mean, my hair is my hair. Because if you don't wash your hair, you, know you smell saying? like sweat. I, Dreads I mean, build sweat. Dreads are hot. Mm -hmm. So if you don't wash them on a regular basis, you smell that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do you care to address it, Mr. Little? You don't have to. I mean, I'm going to address it. Because, yes, I do, I mean, I do wash my hair. I do keep my body clean when it's possible, when it's needed, you know? But, I mean, I do get in the shower. I do do all of that, you know? Right. Right. I don't have to have her permission or her say so to go yeah. get in the shower. I'm, I'm 35 years old. I should know how to get in the shower myself. Uh-huh. You understand right. what Sometimes I'm saying? Sometimes you need a tap and reminder. So, therefore, I don't need her approval to go get in the shower or have her to tell me to do stuff yeah. like that. You yeah. know? You do it on your own. I do it when I want to and when I do it on my own. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? So therefore, if I need to get in the shower after I get from work or whatever, having dust and fiberglass and stuff on me, of course I'm gonna go get in the shower. Right. If we going anywhere, if we going anywhere special, I am gonna gotcha. be presentable and I'm jump in the tub, you know? The, the... But I know, he said anywhere special, so it's not as often as you would like. I get, I get where you're going. Mm -hmm. I, I get what you're saying. The last thing I want to talk about is the elephant in the room, which is she wants to get married and you haven't done it in seven years. We're going to figure out why and what, if anything, we can do about it. 
What would you do if your partner's hygiene was a problem? Share your opinion on Twitter and Instagram at Divorce Court. Divorce Court will be right back. Uh, so, Ms. Chambers, you, you're wondering why he won't put a ring on it already. Is that accurate? Yes. We have been together going on eight years. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, I don't want to be 40 saying, hey, y'all, meet my, my boyfriend. boyfriend. <laughs> yeah. Now, Miss Little, women come in here a lot looking for a ring and thinking I can help them with that. <laughs> I can't, <laughs> but can you give me your perspective on marriage? and whether or not it's an institution for you. Don't get me wrong, ma'am. I love this woman. Mm -hmm. I don't mind marrying this woman. I don't, I don't mind. I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't, I, w I don't want to be forced and pressured into it. Right, right. Do you think it's a matter of timing and time, or is there a reason you don't want to get married at all or to her? She wants to know. Eight years. Well. We have been together for eight years, but you can't force nobody into a marriage just because you want to. Right. You know what I'm saying? Don't but you have say, you discussed the issue with her? Because you yeah. know she wants to. Yeah, I discussed the issue with her because, I mean, yeah, I, I feel her perspective of she want to be married. So do I. Okay. You know? Eight but, years. But I got, I mean, it, we, take, we can't just up and get married if we ain't our, ironed out our situation yet. And I don't want to be forced. Like, I want to be married. So therefore, if you ain't going to put no ring on it, you can go. You know what I'm saying? Uh, without ironing out the situations that we got going on. Mm -hmm. It ain't that you know? No. I mean, I got, this, I got, it's, I got, like, I it's like it's like this. I understand. I don't wanna... we, 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 we've run out of time. Mr. Little, you talk a good game. But at the end of the day, you're not as solid on all these issues as you say. <laughs> and that's OK. There is nothing wrong with being hesitant about entering into a lifetime contract with somebody because your family doesn't get along and because you're concerned about whether or not you do really want to have children, maybe because you have religion. You have the right to have all of those qualms and, and, and problems and considerations. All I'm saying is this. I think you two need to sit down and be honest with each other about where you are with this. You can't honest. say I'm all good and I want to get married, but I can't get married until the situations that I say are already good get good. Because then you can't. Now, how long do you understand we wait what I'm that? saying? I you need, you, I mean, you need also, to have that honest conversation. I also, gotta, I also gotta let let everyone know too. If I'm gonna marry this woman, y'all gotta deal with it. How right. long? And and, we I, wait? and and I and I understand all of that, but eight years. How long? How much longer do I need to wait? That's the question that I gotta ask you. Because I can't answer that for you, and I can't make him answer that for you. If he don't want to get married, and he don't want to make that move, and you're not going to leave if you don't, he has no impetus to do so. Mm -hmm. So that's the question that you have to ask yourself, and you have to be the captain of your own ship on that one. The you biggest, understand what I'm big, saying? No one can do that for you. I think you're two good people, and I wish you both the best of luck in the world. This matter is adjourned. <laughs> By the end of next year, if he's not ready to get married, if he still is undecided about children, then I'm gone. I'm going to try to make this word after this one year. If we can't make this word after one year, then we both need to go our separate ways. But still, I don't want no bad blood between us.